Today I'm looking at the extremely innovative ModMic 5 add-on microphone. Now if you've never heard of the ModMic, it's an add-on microphone that allows you to turn a pair of simple headphones into a headset with a microphone. Now you could always just go out and buy a dedicated headset like the HyperX Cloud Stinger, but you might already have a good pair of headphones and just wish you had a mic on it for gameplay, Skype, or even recording voiceovers. And that's where the ModMic 5 comes in. The ModMic 5 is this microphone boom with a short 3.5 millimeter cable on one end and a small windscreen on the other. The mod mic then clamps to its base through a really strong magnet and the base sticks to your headphones using a circle of double-sided tape. They do provide two bases with the mod mic so you can attach it to more than one pair of headphones. They also provide an extra circle of double-sided tape in case you want to move your base to another pair of headphones or in case you didn't position the base well the first time. Now the double-sided tape does keep the base firmly planted on the side of your headphones, but make sure to clean the surface you're mounting it to using the provided alcohol swab to make sure that oil or dirt on the surface doesn't prevent it from sticking properly. Also make sure to have the mod mic on the base when you position it on your headphones to make sure you can get it positioned correctly in front of your mouth. Also make sure to attach the base to the same side your headphone wires are coming out of just to keep all the wiring nice and neat. The base also has these teeth that allow you to change the position of the mod mic and also flip it out of the way when you're not using it. The boom arm is also bendable so you can adjust it to get the best recording position. Mod mic's manual recommends keeping it close to your mouth while at the same time out of your nasal airstream to keep it from picking up your breathing. In terms of connections, the mod mic 5 comes with two different lengths of 3.5 millimeter cable, a longer 2 meter cable and a shorter 1 meter cable. Both these cables allow you to plug the mic directly into the mic port of a computer, gaming device or even a camera. They also provide a very handy inline mute switch in case you'd like to mute your mic audio. And in case you'd like to plug it into a smartphone or a laptop with a single mic and headphone jack, you can get an adapter like this and hook it up directly to your smartphone or tablet. And if your laptop only has a headphone jack like mine, you can get a USB sound card like this one and use a USB port to get both your microphone and headphones hooked up. The Mod Mic 5 doesn't come with either of these adapters, so I'll leave links to both these adapters below in case you need them. The microphone also has two recording modes, unidirectional and omnidirectional, which can be set using a button on the end of the boom. Omni is better for capturing more of the ambient noise in a room, while the unidirectional mode works better for cutting out more of the background noise and just capturing your voice. And to keep all the wires nice and tidy. The mod mic comes with these wire clips to bundle your headphone and mod mic wires. They also provide a piece of wire wrap to tidy up the connections a bit more. However, this wire wrap does look like something out of your car's engine bay and I'm just not a big fan of how it makes the setup look. So I wouldn't really recommend using it. You want to stick to the wire clips. And the mod mic doesn't add much weight to your headphones so your headphones are still very comfy even with the mod mic on it. So how does the mod mic 5 sound? Now this might be your first headset and you're probably wondering, do I even need a headset? Why don't I just use the mic on my laptop? So I'm going to read you a quote and record it using the built-in mic on my 2015 MacBook Pro. So the audio you're hearing right now is from the built-in microphone on the MacBook Pro. So I'm going to read you a passage from Ernest Hemingway's book, A Farewell to Arms. In the late summer of that year, we lived in a house in a village that looked across the river and the plain to the mountains. In the bed of the river, there were pebbles and boulders, dry and white in the sun, and the water was clear and swiftly moving and blue in the channels. Troops went by the house and down the road, and the dust they raised powdered the leaves of the trees. The trunks of the trees, too, were dusty, and the leaves fell early that year, and we saw the troops marching along along the road and the dust rising and leaves stirred by the breeze falling and the soldiers marching and afterward the road bare and white except for the leaves. And now I'm going to plug in the Mod Mic 5 using a USB sound card to my MacBook Pro and read you the same exact quote. I've set the input gain level to 65% using Audacity. So the audio you're hearing right now is from the Mod Mic 5 connected to the MacBook Pro and the Mod Mic 5 is in the omni directional mode. 
So I'll first read you the passage in the omnidirectional mode and then switch to the unidirectional mode and read you the same exact passage. And I've adjusted the mouthpiece as best as I can, as close to my mouth as possible without being in my nasal airstream. So let me go ahead and read that passage for you. In the late summer of that year, we lived in a house in a village that looked across the river and the plain to the mountains. In the bed of the river, there were pebbles and boulders dry and white in the sun and the water was clear and swiftly moving and blue in the channels. Troops went by the house and down the road, and the dust they raised powdered the leaves of the trees. The trunks of the trees, too, were dusty, and the leaves fell early that year, and we saw the troops marching along the road, and the dust rising, and leaves stirred by the breeze falling, and the soldiers marching, and afterward the road bare and white, except for the leaves. And here is the same exact paragraph in the unidirectional mode. In the late summer of that year, we lived in a house in a village that looked across the river and the plain to the mountains. In the bed of the river, there were pebbles and boulders dry and white in the sun and the water was clear and swiftly moving and blue in the channels. Troops went by the house and down the road and the dust they raised powdered the leaves of the trees. The trunks of the trees too were dusty and the leaves fell early that year and we saw the troops marching along the road and the dust rising and leaves stirred by the breeze falling and the soldiers marching and afterward the road bare and white except for the leaves. Now the Mod Mic 5 isn't exactly cheap. It currently sells for around $70. And that still doesn't account for the cost of your headphones. So what I wanted to see was if you could get similar quality audio from a dedicated headset that cost between $50 to $70. So I went out and got myself the extremely popular HyperX Cloud Stinger, which costs between $50 and $60. Bucks. And on a side note, if you'd like to see a dedicated review of that headset, leave me a comment below. So I've plugged the the stinger into the same USB sound card to keep everything the same and I've set the input gain level to 65% exactly as I did with the Mod Mic 5 and I'm going to read you the same passage so you can see how it performs and the audio you're hearing right now is from the HyperX Cloud Stinger and the HyperX Cloud Stinger only has one recording mode so I can't really switch between Omni and Uni so I'm just going to record in the only mode that it has and I've adjusted the mouthpiece as best as I can to keep it as close to my mouth as possible without being in my nasal airstream. So I'm going to read you the same exact passage so you can hear how it sounds. In the late summer of that year, we lived in a house in a village that looked across the river and the plain to the mountains. In the bed of the river, there were pebbles and boulders dry and white in the sun, and the water was clear and swiftly moving and blue in the channels. Troops went by the house and down the road, and the dust they raised powdered the leaves of the trees. The trunks of the trees, too, were dusty, and the leaves fell early that year, and we saw the troops marching along the road, and the dust rising, and leaves stirred by the breeze falling, and the soldiers marching, and afterward the road bare and white except for the leaves. So after testing out the audio on the Mod Mic 5 and comparing it to the laptop mic and the Stinger, I came away with a mixed bag of results. For starters, the laptop mic sucks, and that was to be expected. The Mod Mic 5 is obviously a huge step up from any laptop mic, but I was really surprised that it didn't do a whole lot better than the Stinger, which is quite a bit cheaper, especially when you factor in the price of the headphones you attach the Mod Mic to. Now the Mod Mic 5 does produce better audio than the Stinger, but it's just not a big enough difference. The mod mic also seems to have an issue with electronic shielding and sometimes picks up all sorts of stray signals which end up adding a hum to your recording. Definitely something mod mic should consider looking into. I just get the feeling that the mod mic's wires just aren't that well shielded as you can see here when compared to the wires on my Audio Technica headphones or even the Stinger for that matter. Now feel free to tell me which one sounded better to you in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So should you get the mod mic 5? If you're looking for a decent 
decent headset, I just recommend buying a dedicated headset like the HyperX Cloud Stinger, and I'll leave a link to that below. The Mod Mic 5 is just a little too pricey and doesn't perform a whole lot better for the extra money. And if you absolutely want to add a mic to your headphones, I'd recommend getting the older Mod Mic 4, which will save you a bit of cash and will work just as well. I'll leave a link to that below. Hope this video was useful. If it was, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.